a little bit into the past now and okay. talk about your <laughs> journey here. Reggae and dancehall music is captivating hearts across um, Africa and beyond, and its yeah. popularity um, has become global. You're credited with fueling uh, that popularity. Tell us a bit about your musical journey. I know you grew up just outside Accra and you started yeah. your own um, rap group when you were only 12. Yes, I grew up in a city called Ashaiman, which is one of the biggest cities in the capital. It actually embodies um, all people from all walks of life, like I say, it's like, it's like you know, when you say a shy man, people know that's like a tough place to grow up from. And so being like a star from a shy man can only Vimba tell you how star. inspirational my journey has been to the world, not only uh, Ghana, because anybody who zooms into it can see that. And of course, uh, winning the Ghana Artist of the Year amongst many, many, many other uh, uh, awards, BETs, Grammy certified, globally, you know, like um, lots and lots, tells you that uh, consistency, um, like how consistent I have been with actually living my purpose, you know, of using music as a tool. Tell us you know. how you discovered music in the first place. How did you find it? Yes, I, um, I discovered music when I was like a child, you know, after I know that music has chosen me, of course, because if it didn't choose you, you can't discover it. When I found out, realized that I had no option, that I had to represent for words, sounds, and power, which is the combinations that make music. Adolfo, we now understand why Stoneboy was in need of the Artist of the Year Award so badly, or Telesel Ghana Music Awards, TGMEs. Now, this is to add to his portfolio, Senebea, or Coin International. Of course, obey to me a pushy, a braggy, the more. Stoneboy, obviously, eh, one of Ghana's most hardworking artists. Ah, say, almost fighting out there to break out internationally. Send a bear, boy, David Do, Whiskey, legendary status, no. Ghanaian art, B, and so, a eh, have it. As it stands now, Nick in promise, any a few more, and eh, I say, pushy solidly hard out there. Now, fast forward, Oko PMO. A war France. I will copy him. A war HS France 24 TV. So France 24 TV. A year a TV station based in Paris with millions of uh, viewers. And they are obviously one of the biggest TV stations out there. Occur her to promote the new single I a body, which of course in your many streams on YouTube a power million uh, views soon. and on other uh, digital platforms soon. So no, a hit one million and over. Now, Oko Honey be a few questions Emma or they throw out as to how he managed to make it from a shy man to uh, the world. Or since we Kasa Edifa Awards, uh, we win. Or say, no, we win BET. Yeah, back Ghana, we win Artist of the Year. We win many awards. Even this year, only six awards, which was uh, the, the, the massive one for the night. Or since we win Artist of the Year in that particular award. Or yeah, Afrima Award winner. And or since we are Grammy certified, ain't he? A boy from a shy man. Or ye a juma thing out uh, there. Now, or big or be, you know, the industry. And in the intention to bridge the gap between uh, French speaking countries and English uh, speaking countries. The reason why are all France uh, the more. Now, in Crawford interpret, it says, Stone Boy, a braggy, was Sansa Cobo Grammy, a ding, a hoya, certified or Grammy, a chess, a unwini, a Grammy, ye will be a yum sona, a feature, or a my amount Grammy plug be self accord to them, and un pun chess, or you be a. In tea, just only dean or ho. Now, bragging about winning awards in Ghana, and so doesn't put food on your table. Omo more, more opana, conco musician side, and I just say, Omo Bija, Eddie, Egu, and so in that manner. Now, we stand in Stone Boy and make the statement out of whether we agree or not on one person in the game planner or bo. Mama, eh, yanko ti and I yanko share that particular video. All credit to France 24 TV. Yeba, yeba to Amoso. For the past decade, Stoneboy has cemented himself as one of Ghana's most successful artists, Vim winning more Star. than 50 awards. His music has reached millions on streaming platforms, earning the respect of artists and fans far beyond the West African nation's borders. On his recent album, Fifth Dimension, he collaborated with the likes of Davido, Angelique Kidjo and Stormzy. Welcome to the show, Stoneboy. Yes, thank you very much for having me, though. With, <laughs> that, that's with, a cool video right there. That's like 2018. I'm seeing myself. I'm like, ooh, a lot must have happened. 
Well, I'll tell you what, you've been working so hard and flying so high since your first album, Grade One, in 2012. At the start of the month, you won six awards at the Ghana Music Awards. Congratulations. Absolutely. Thank you very much. It was the yeah. biggest, made you the biggest winner of the night. You were yeah. crowned Artist of the Year. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. You're now said <laughs> to be one of the most decorated voices in African music. How are you feeling? Uh, it feels great to to be, you know, a career of such responsibility, you know, representing for the people of Africa, within Africa and in the diaspora, and humanity as a whole, because we are all one people, you know. So using music as a talent, as a tool, to actually unify the um, 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 humanity, especially black people on the continent, gives me a very great deal of joy. It gives me... Um, responsibility and makes me feel you know um, makes me feel useful a little bit into the past now and okay. talk about your journey here <laughs> reggae and dancehall music is captivating hearts across um, Africa and beyond and its yeah. popularity um, has become global you're credited with fueling uh, that popularity tell us a bit about your musical journey I know you grew up just outside Accra and you started yeah. your own um, rap group when you're only 12 Yes, I grew up in a city called Ashaiman, which is one of the biggest cities in the capital. It actually embodies um, all people from all walks of life, like I say, it's like, it's like you know, when you say Ashaiman, people know that's like a tough place to grow up from. And so being like a star from Ashaiman can only tell you how inspirational my journey has been to the world, not only uh, Ghana, because anybody who zooms into it can see that, and of course, uh, winning the Ghana Artist of the Year amongst many, many, many other uh, uh, awards, BETs, Grammy certified, uh, globally, you know, like um, lots and lots. Tells you that uh, consistency, um, like how consistent I have been with actually living my purpose, you know, of using music as a tool. Tell us you how know. you discovered music in the first place. How did you find it? Yes, I, um, I discovered music when I was like a child. You know, after I know that music has chosen me, of course, because if it didn't choose you, you can't discover it. When I found out, realized that I had no option, that I had to represent for words, sounds, and power, which is the combinations that make music. And music actually is a spiritual message that we have to send across nations. One of your aims is to use music to unify black people across the African diaspora. One of your favorite songs off the album is called African Sister. Well, in African System, you sing about schools. Yes. You sing about the government. Yes. You were just telling me earlier that you've just <laughs> finished a degree. You're about to graduate mm -hmm. in public administration. Yes. So public life is important to you. What's, tell us about <laughs> your goals with that. Are you planning to go into government? Uh, um, we are all a part of government already, aren't we? You know, it, it cannot be, it cannot be, a nation cannot be run without people understanding that they're a part of government you know, or a part of the public. I actually use my music as a tool to unify and preach already. So why not go get some more education to be able to use that? And I'm speaking about government and the music. I'm speaking about the regular situations that go on in Africa. That was, I was actually specifying Ghana, but that is supposed to mirror and amplify for the rest of the situations that go on in the third world countries, focusing my my attention more on Africa and black people is really very important to me because there is a need for us to be able to realize the challenges that we face and amplify them more and make some massive changes. On the album, you worked with um, Angelique Kidjo. Yeah. And to make that video um, for the song um, Madoji, you actually yes. filmed it here in France. Yes. Why did you want to film it here? The opportunity to film it, you know, outside of Africa, but to be able to still represent the African heritage was a key thing for me. Then the first point would have been availability because, you know, Angelique, our mother, is very busy. And then for the time of the year we shot it, it was early January we shot it. Everybody has been busy from December and then I'm like, all right, cool, let's do it here. That's how come we actually brought Africa to Paris, <laughs> you know, and filmed it to make it such a very beautiful video that it in Jan is. January in a big house outside yes, Paris, it, big was, wasn't, yes. it was a bit freezing. It doesn't freezing, look it in the video. Freezing, after every second, after the outdoor shoot, I'm going to run inside to try to warm up myself. But I think she, she she's used to it kind of because she's lived 
you know, over here for some some time. It was an it's it, it, it's a beautiful video that captures you know, um, and what we were speaking about in the song, talking about perseverance and always continuing to push. Because the song title Manoji means I will keep on. Let's have a look at this video then. You know. <laughs> that you were um, collaborating with Anjali Kidjo. You also shared the stage with the likes of Lauren Hill um, and Wizkid. Who would you most like to collaborate with, if you could collaborate with anybody? Oh yeah, most likely like I've always shot for the skies. I mean, appreciating the collaborations that I've all already done anyway. You know, I'm looking towards doing something beautiful with Rihanna or Taylor Swift. These are my, you know, probably cool That'd be play, good. you know. Uh, Angelique Kijo, of course, has been done from the French side, representing for Africa in the diaspora as well. I've done something with Stormzy, um, the Shaggy, Sean Paul, Beanie Man, Buju. You know, like in my dance or reggae line, I think I've, co I've, I've gotten an appointment of specialist, you know, or PhD in that line. So I want to, you know, take it away a little bit from that and then span it out because, you know, there's Stormboy as a versatile artist anyway. So there's a possibility to make those smashing hits you know i've got something with rick ross also in the pipeline working towards the hip-hop side as also well, yeah and you are here in paris to promote some new music mm -hmm. a new single which is called your body introduce it to us we're gonna have a listen in a minute your body is actually simply put like your body is the beauty standard not what they say you know but i couldn't have a song that has a title that long <laughs> <laughs> so I could just do your body. So Vimba, I just want Vimba. women in the world to understand that I see what is going on. Like we know what is going on. Like beauty standards are very like changing here and there. And, you know, it's making a lot of people very uncomfortable. Like we see some stories that are very heartwarming. Like, bro, just be proud of yourself. Find your self-esteem. Know that you are unique and beautiful the way you are. So your body is the beauty standard, not what they say it is. So that's the beautiful masterpiece that speaks to the woman, speaks about love and speaks about how unique they are and important they are to us as well, men. Thank you so much for that mm -hmm. song. That sounds like we need to have a listen to your body. Adolfo, so after watching the video, do you think, say, Stoneboy was bragging or not? For I drink here on that. Ebra. Yeah, that's it. Vimbaz TV.